See this flat spot here and that water there? Kids got a problem. This hose bib is leaking. Not a plumber. He's got to fix it. Let's see if we can make it happen. Step one, I got to access this thing. So some plant life has got to go. Kid always gets nervous when he's around plumbing. You see, plumbers know how to tighten. Right there, good enough. Carpenters, they go too much. But that thing's leaking, and I need to get it fixed. Or I need to start on it, and then I'll call a plumber. All right, step number two, I need to cut the water off. I think that will do it. Is the water off? Yeah. Now, I think I got to hold this and turn this off and slide this out. And I think this pulls out. Now my understanding is I take this little screw off here if I can. And then I guess I need to back this washer off of this screw. I don't know. Like that. Then I went down to the box store and I bought a box of washers. Which is wrapped up very nice and tidy. And from what I understand, I'm to look in this box and try to find a washer that looks like the washer or about the same size as the one I just took off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe that's it. Now, put this back through here and put this screw back in. I don't know how tight that's supposed to be. It was pretty snug. See, this is where I get in trouble when I'm doing plumbing. I'm going to put it about that tight. Okay. I'm going to go put this back on. After a little, little tender loving care, we got that slid back in. Now, I'll be honest with you, this nut here, it wasn't on there. It was just sort of snugged on there. All right. Whew. Keeping my fingers crossed, I'm turning the water back on. Man, I hope it works. I'm on well water. Your situation may be different. But either way, you do have to cut the water off, work on this thing. Let's see what it looks like. Man, I hope it's not leaking. Bye, George. I believe we've got it. The thing is now, I know I'm not scared if for some reason I don't got it, I can pull that off and put another washer on it. So evidently, that's how you stop a hose bib from leaking. From one guy who doesn't really know what he's doing when it comes to plumbing, to you guys, who probably know more than I do when it comes to plumbing. Best of luck to you if this is your issue. You can do it. Again, best of luck to you. Now, if you're going to tackle this project, you're going to need four tools. One, you're going to need a crescent wrench, a pair of channel locks, a Phillips screwdriver and you some washers. Take those four things right there, you can do this project. Now, let me take just one moment to encourage anybody and everybody around your home, mama's house, daddy's house, neighbor's house, whatever, whoever, 
There's little things that's gonna go bad from time to time. The impulse, the first thing that many of us think about in doing this, well, who can I call? I've been taught and I tried to learn from people who have taught me that, you know, it might be something you can fix. So if you just take your time, think about it, it goes back together the way you took it apart. Find the problem. Now, I realize there's some things, you know, that requires some uh, peripheral knowledge, if you will, about the situation. But many times, the situation is just, the, or the solution to the problem is just using a little bit of common sense. So let me encourage you, okay? If you got something that's a problem, a little bit of a situation, before your first impulse of picking up the phone and calling somebody who's gonna charge you an arm and a leg per hour to come and do the work, it might be something you can handle. So, hey, best to you. Um, and, uh, then let me mention one other thing. Even if it's not something you can handle, all of us do well if we have a network, whether it be watching YouTube videos or we know somebody, uh, or we know somebody that knows somebody that maybe even knows somebody. But if we, if we can develop in life a network of human resources um, and technical advice and whatever, then we are going to be ahead of the game in solving problems that are going to occur, but problems that are solvable. I'll see you in the next one. Most of the time when we're looking at sawdust and sweat and see, we're sawmilling, we're carpentering, we're building something, we're driving nails, um, maybe building a cabinet or something. We're not doing plumbing, and we're probably not going to do a whole lot of plumbing. But every now and then, a situation comes up, and we just have to roll up our sleeves and see if we can fix it. Hey, if you got plumbing work and you can do it yourself, if you can do it yourself, you're probably going to save yourself a bunch of money. And that's always a good thing. See you in the next one.